Hello and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're having a great day and I'm so glad that you're back here um, to watch one of my videos. I'm really excited for this video because I've been planning it for a couple of weeks. I actually turned 20 a couple of weeks ago and I got a lot of book related gifts. Apparently word got out that I really liked books. So almost everyone got me a book and then like the money that I got I went ahead and bought books. So as you can see over here this is basically like most of this is my book haul from March. So some of this I bought myself um, and some of it was gifted to me. So I kind of want to go through each of the books because I'm really excited about some of them and want to show you all what I got. So first I got a copy of Jane Eyre and this is really fun. I found this on Amazon. So it's these beautiful books and then on the inside there's flowers and even throughout the book it has these little illustrations. It's just so lovely and it's almost like a old-fashioned handmade type look to it. And then the thing that's really cool about this is that it has little letters and things throughout the book that kind of have to do with the book. So we have this is like Charlotte Braun's birth certificate um, and then different things like explaining what is a government uh, governess and all these little um, just little tokens that happen in the book or have to do with the author. So I thought that was really fun and I really want to read this book when I read Jane Eyre again just to be able to experience all those little tidbits that are in there. So I think this is a really neat edition of Jane Eyre and I was really excited to get this. And then, um, so I got this first and then after that I got the rest of the set. So the set that Jane Eyre is part of also has Pride and Prejudice, which I think this is the one that's the prettiest. I love hydrangeas and that blue purple color. So beautiful. So this is Pride and Prejudice and it has kind of the same thing. These little illustrations on the inside and I haven't really looked through all the different things but there's stuff stuck throughout the book. Um, little invitations to a ball and um, again this is just so fun to be able to read through it and hold like the little letters in your hand and so when I read Pride and Prejudice again, I'll definitely be reading this copy. And this is my first copy of Pride and Prejudice that I own, so I really wanted it because obviously it's just a classic book and I wanted um, it on my shelf. And then the last one of that series is Emma, which is my favorite Jane Austen book. I don't necessarily love the pink, but again, it's really cool. It has, I looked at the poem that, um, uh, what's his name? The pastor guy who's really weird, wrote for... Henrietta and then Emma reading it and trying to get her to figure it out and well actually he wrote it to Emma but yeah um it has all those different things in it little illustrations and I do like that this is like a brighter color but not necessarily the actual pink color but again this trilogy is just so cool and I think it would be really neat if they made like all the classics in this um because it's so pretty and just like the font I really like the font and how big it is and just like easy to read so yeah I really enjoy these books and it's by Andrews McNeil Publishing you can find them on Amazon I'll leave the link below I think these are a great addition to my collection and just really fun to be able to look at and read and then the next book I got which I actually bought this for myself is um Persuasion so I really enjoyed this when I read it it's by Jane Austen I wanted to read it again because a couple of people told me it was their favorite Jane Austen. Now, I really liked it and I really related to it, but I wouldn't say that necessarily it was my favorite. So I was really excited to be able to read it again. I'm about halfway through, but this edition is so cool. It's part of the Seasons Collection by Thomas Nelson Publishing. I don't really like many of the other ones, but this one I think is from the summer season. Um... Yeah, it's from Summer, and they only printed 10,000 of this book, so this is number 8,134, and I just got it off Amazon for, I think, like, 30 bucks, but it's really neat and, like, laser cut. It has a plastic protective cover on it, so it doesn't get um, destroyed, and then it comes with a little bookmark that's also laser cut, and then throughout, again, oh, I really like the font and just the page color on this. I don't know why. It's just really pretty to me, and then throughout, they have these little... Um, like plates with the a quote on there and the same laser cut design. My only complaint about this, which was also a complaint in some of the Amazon reviews, is that the quote, like the quote that's on the back of the book and then the ones throughout, really are not great quotes. Like they're just 
totally random ones that the publisher picked out and stuck on there. So it's kind of annoying, but I think it's just really pretty overall. So I, I really like this one on my bookshelf, and it matches my shirt and my nails, so I think this is just like the color of the year. Um, and then the next books that I got were the rest of the Union series that's out so far, which is um, the series that Gentle and Lowly is part of, which if you've watched any of my videos, you know that that's one of my favorite books. I even did a giveaway over on Instagram with that book. So since I got money for my birthday, I went ahead and bought the rest of the collection. Well, one of these was gifted to me by my dad. The Loveliest Place, this is the newest one, and this is about the beauty and glory of the church. So I'm really excited to get to this one, but I want to read the rest of them first. So... The one that came out right after Gentle and Lowly was Rejoice and Tremble by Michael Reeves. This is about having a healthy fear of God um, and how that just, what it actually means and how we've misunderstood fear in our culture. I've only read the first chapter. But this is the one that I just started and hopefully I'll finish it this month so I can move on to the next one. And then the second one is Deeper, which I'm really excited for. This is Real Change for Real Sinners about how to actually grow in godliness. What is that depth of godliness? And this is by Dane Ortland, the same guy who wrote um, Gentle and Lily, so I'm really excited for this one. And then the last one is The Loveliest Place. So I got those three books this um, month with my birthday money, and I really love just the, the covers of them and how they look on my shelf. It's just one of my favorites. And then, let's see, the next book I got, I did get Knowing God by J.I. Packer. This is um, by IV Press. They have a whole collection of the, it's called the IVP Signature Collection, and they all kind of have this design in different colors. They're not, there's not a ton of books on there that I really like. They have a few um, Francis Schaeffer books and other books, but I didn't necessarily like any of the books. This one's really cool, and I like the colors of it, and I've actually never read this book, so I look forward to reading this one. And then the last book that I bought with my birthday money is The Excellent Wife by Martha Peace. I'm going to be going through this book with a friend. And if you remember, I read The um, Disciplines of a Godly Woman a couple of months ago, and I didn't necessarily love it. And I heard that The Excellent Wife was a little bit better on that topic. So I'm excited to read it and, yeah, just understand, like, what is it like to be a godly woman and cultivate those character qualities that will be useful to you um, throughout your whole life. So I'm really looking forward to going through this one. Okay, I think that is almost all the books that I got. Now, the last book that I got for my birthday has actually been in this video the whole time, and you probably haven't noticed it, but it's actually on my shirt. So I got this shirt from a friend, and it is um, Jane Eyre printed all over the shirt. So if you look at it really closely, you can see it's the entire book is printed across here. So if you get bored, you can just look at my shirt and start reading a book. So I thought that was super cool. I've actually looked, this is from Lithographs, and I've looked at it before, but never actually bought one. So I'm really excited um, to be able to wear this and to have a lithograph. And then the last, like, bookish gift I got is really cool. It's these glasses, reading glasses, and they're 90 degrees. So I can see down below me while I'm looking straight at the camera. And so this is supposed to help, like, your neck if it's hurting. Um, you know, like, laying in bed and you're reading with your neck all scrunched up, you can lay flat and be able to read when you're holding it up. So these are super neat, and we've even been talking about, like, how can we... Um, make a better quality one that aren't as heavy and as weird looking. So these are just fun little uh, bookish gifts. And then also I got, whoops, my friend got me these little um, bookmarks from the Daily Grace Co. And I really like the colors on these. I don't normally like these little bookmarks, but I just love little colors. Oh, and I almost forgot one more gift that I got. So the very last thing that I got is this necklace, and it has my initial, and it's just a little book locket, so you can open it up and you could even fit a tiny little picture in there. So it's so cute, and it's in rose gold, which I really like, and I don't have any other jewelry in rose gold, so I thought it was such a neat little gift, um, and I definitely have worn this a couple times and look forward to wearing it a lot. I don't know where it's from. But I would definitely recommend, if you have a bookish friend, get them a little book locket. It's just one of the sweetest gifts. So that is all of the books and bookish gifts that I got for my birthday. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. And maybe you got some gift ideas for um, your friend who really likes books. And some of these are like out of the ordinary classics or just 
gifts that have to do with books. So this was a really fun video to film, just showing you guys all the different things that I bought, and I'm super grateful for all of my friends and family who um, just blessed me so much with all of these books and in growing my library that I'll be keeping like for the rest of my life and hopefully be able to read these books even to my kids. So I will see you in my next video, and I hope that you have a great day. Bye!